Electricity is found all around us. It powers our cities, our homes, and our devices. It has allowed us to work efficiently and even effortlessly at times. But where does this power even come from? Ayon sa mga doktor ng NGO, hindi basta-basta ubo at pagkapuwing lamang ang dinudulot na maruming hangin mula sa mga planta. Dahil maari pa ito mauwi sa stroke, heart attack at iba pang cardiovascular diseases at pati na respiratory diseases. For fossil fuel dependent countries like the Philippines, the majority of their electricity comes from coal-fired power plants. These types of plants make use of coal combustion to generate the electricity that would eventually end up in our mobile phones. During this process, however, coal-fired power plants produce a byproduct called fly ash dust, which when inhaled could result in a number of fatal lung diseases like lung cancer. The waste products of these plants that are sent out to landfills or ash ponds could also contaminate nearby water sources, putting the communities relying on them at a high risk of developing cancer and other organ-related diseases. But these byproducts are not the only problem with coal-fired power plants. When coal is burned, it releases carbon dioxide which contributes at two global warming. And because of the rising demand for electricity in the Philippines, more coal plants are being constructed which results in the increase of CO2 emissions at an alarming rate. This greatly contributes to the global climate change which worsens the extreme weather that is particularly evident in the country. Over the years, the country has experienced a number of super typhoons that claimed the lives of many, as well as intense drought that destroyed hectares of crops. Despite these disastrous events, it's not too late to act on climate change. The United Nations established 17 sustainable development goals that could help serve as blueprint for all nations to follow in an effort to achieve a sustainable future. The SDGs number 7, which calls for clean and affordable energy, sees energy as a major contributor to climate change and aims to correct it by pushing for use of the renewable energy technologies which produce less pollutants while being more energy efficient than its fuel counterparts. In line with this goal, the Department of Energy in their national Renewable Energy Program has drafted plans on laying down the foundation for the development of renewable energy technologies in the country. But you may be asking, what can I, a citizen of this country, could do to help? Well, you could do a lot of things. For example, you can start by simply shutting down and unplugging electronics that are not in use. Decreasing the electricity we consume means decreasing the coal that has to be burned which in turn decreases the disastrous effects of climate change. Moralco also recommends the use of induction stoves as their tests found them to be 82% more energy efficient than gas and electric stoves. Switching to these stoves may be expensive up front but will be more cost effective in the long run as opposed to the other alternatives. Additionally, you could also opt to make use of a solar bottle bulb to illuminate your surroundings. It only requires a 1.5 liter bottle, bleach, and water which are materials that could be easily found around the house. Attaching this to one's roof, however, would also require the use of a galvanized iron sheet and some rubber sealant. Since the Philippines is located near the equator, one could also entertain the possibility of installing solar panels, solar roof tiles, and even solar windows in their homes. This will also prove to be more cost-effective in the long run and would also be beneficial during power outages as these homes could simply rely on this alternative power source. But with the upcoming election next year, arguably the most important action we could do is to support and vote for the politicians who push for cleaner energy as they could help push for a large-scale implementation of renewable energy technologies in the country. An implementation of such scale will decrease the pollution emitted by our energy sector as renewable energy technologies produce significantly less air pollutants than their fossil fuel counterparts. Additionally, Generating electricity with the use of solar or wind energy would also decrease water pollution as they don't require water in their operation. 
Implementation of these technologies would also create thousands of jobs, especially in its construction and maintenance. More importantly, for the millions of Filipinos that are currently relying on electricity for their day-to-day -day lives, renewable energy technologies would significantly decrease their electricity bills these coming years as they are proven to be more cost-effective in the long run than coal-fired power plants. So what are we waiting for? Let us stop being selfish and think about the Filipino generations to come. Let us push for more sustainable energy in this country. Let us push for a cleaner and safer energy. For, for you, you and me.